Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing good. Yes, sir. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I've I've met with a, a, a quite a few teams. Um, I I want to keep that confidential out of the respect to them. Um, but I, I can assure you, I've met with quite a few teams. Yes, sir. One hundred percent. I Coach Parker uh, genuinely is one of the most influential people in my life, um, and I feel like, as a defensive coordinator, I, I might be biased, but I don't think there's many better in the nation. I mean, you can look at our track record, what we do year in and year out um, in the Big Ten, and but also where we rank nationally. Um, I think there's like a little. I saw a little thing like over the like the last four years where I think we're number one in a lot of categories that are important to defense. So. I would say uh, it's a little bit of both. Um, definitely, film study is going to be the most important thing. Uh, but then also just a, like understanding like general concepts. Like once you start understanding concepts, there's offensive coordinators are super creative nowadays. But at the same time, they can only do so much. And um, usually, like a good rule of thumb in zone coverage is something's going out, something's going to come back in. And as a linebacker, you oh, for me, I'm always playing top down. We'll give we'll give an offense a five yard a four yard little out route, but I'm, I'm going to take away that 12 yard dig um, because a lot of offenses like to get greedy and take shots and then that's how we get off the field. And we're trying to like, our defensive philosophy is just play big zone coverages, make them do, make, do a 15 play drive, chew off as much clock as you want and make a field goal, so. Hundred uh, percent. They came out in a slow YY formation, what we call it at Iowa. And um, for me, I got a little bit too nosy. Um, I should have definitely had a better read on that. But I came out of it, and uh, I saw the bat going to the flat. And I'm like, ah, something's got to be coming back in. And I know they, they know we're in quarters, and they're going to put stress on me and try to hit, hit us with a, with a deep dig on the backside. Um, I kind of saw it out of the corner of my eye, but I opened, I opened my, I call it open my zone, getting, getting my hips to the field, um, and then I feel like that ultimately allowed me to to go be able to make that play. Um, but at the same time, like, that's my my coaching staff and uh, my teammates just continuing to push me to, to be better and um, never never settling for anything but my best. So. Mm. Uh, for me, I just for me uh, the best way I think I can impress teams is just being me. I mean, it sounds simple, but like never changing. Uh, just always being genuine to who I am, um, and for me, like I'm seeing everything as an opportunity this week. Like, like this is an opportunity. Walking down the hallway is an opportunity. Going to bed's an opportunity. Just like being able to have that mindset uh, day in and day out. Um, I feel like that's that's what's kind of going to set me apart, um, and just showing my genuine passion for the game. I feel like ultimately, like those those couple things, uh, they're simple, but a lot of people, I feel like. I don't know. I'm not going to say a lot of people don't have them because I don't know a lot of people, but at the same time, I feel like uh, it's, it's kind of rare. So. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, linebackers, you got to be amphibious and do a lot of different things. You got to know the front, but you got to know how to play in, in the back end and coverage. And I feel like for me, I definitely need to continue to improve on rushing the passer. Um, that's just a, a huge area that I see that I could continue to uh, grow in. Um, but at the same time, like linebacker, it's just such a fun position because again, you get to you get to experience so many different things. Um, one play is never like the last. Um, you get it for me. I like to be able to kind of be in control a little bit and make sure everyone's lined up. Uh, but it, it's just and it, the the way it tests you mentally is. I mean, you can go out there and you can like mess up a play really bad and feel that sting and that pain from that play, but then also go out there and make a hell of a play. And just the feeling from that. So like kind of the ups and downs and just the emotional like roller coaster. Like I'm always gonna stay steady, but like I feel like that's what kind of draws me to the position. So Yes, sir. I, I, I like amphib when I think of amphibious, I think of a frog. 
you can go in the water and you can go on the land. As a linebacker, you got to play the run. You got to take on box. You got to be able to use your hands. You got to be violent back there. But then I also got to drop back into coverage. And, and like I'm just gonna use this, get this guy as an example. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna like Tyree kill. I'm gonna have to have Tyree kill on the slot. So I'm gonna be able to have to take on 330 pound guys and over defeat them and then go tackle. Uh, let's think of a back. Uh, I got to go tackle Nick Chubb. And then the next play, I'm gonna line up and I'm gonna have to go cover t t uh, Tyree kill. So that's like kind of the context that I was thinking with that. I mean, I, I mean, at the NFL, you're gonna have guys with that much talent. You do week in and week out. So, do I have a favorite player? Uh, some someone that like I guess I always looked up to before like all my high school games. I'd watch that uh, Chad Greenway. Yes, sir. I mean, yeah, like in Iowa, you just kind of a, you just do everything because there's like honestly not much to do. But like just being being able to compete year in and year like year round is like something that I feel like is invaluable to a lot of people. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that um, because a lot of a lot of kids nowadays kind of one sport like focus on that. But you, you only have your season to be able to like kind of I wouldn't say develop your competitive edge, but like. Going throughout the year and being able to compete, I don't really feel like you can simulate that. And then also, like, the, all the little things you, you pick up, like basketball, like, helps with, like, footwork, in my opinion. Um, track, like, with your sprinting and running mechanics. So just, like, and then also, like, the most important thing is just hanging out with your, your buddies. What was your best like, event in track? My best event in track? Well, I was terrible at track, but I ran the 200. Oh, okay. Yeah. Baseball or uh, I played baseball until freshman year. Um, I'm a huge St. Louis Cardinal fan, though. Okay. It's yeah. important, but if you're going to succeed in the NFL, it's not going to be because you're 45. It's going to be because your play recognition, you mm -hmm. play fast, you see it, mm -hmm. you're shorter. What do you think about the traits that are going to allow you to succeed at linebacker? I feel like non-negotiables at linebackers is your eyes and your feet. Like, it just starts right there, and it's just base, simple stuff. And, again, a lot of people kind of overlook it and feel like it take it take it I feel like take it to a new level which I don't think you have to take it to I feel like you got to stick true to yourself stick true to the fundamentals and then the mental aspect the mental aspect at the linebacker position is the most most important part to be able to go out there and perform at the highest level week in and week out and I feel like coming from the University of Iowa coming from a program led by Kirk Ferentz um in the way the way we approach things, like I like I feel like I, I have already come from a, a pro level system and how we operate there as, as an organization. I think that's just going to help me translate my game to the next level. So, uh, again, like I've met with uh, I met with quite a few teams, but I'll just do out of respect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep all that confidential. But I've met with a good amount of teams. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean. For me, like winning the Campbell Trophy, it was just, again, accumulation of doing a lot of small things the right way over a long period of time. Consistency will always overcome any, any talent. And I feel like for me, I was always not like the best, like not the, I'm not the smartest dude in the room, like academically wise, but somehow I ended up with that award. And just what a prestigious award and the legacy Mr. Campbell has, has left, um, not only to this game, but also to the, like the business world and all those uh, like in Silicon Valley. He's, he had a huge influence out there. And um, to, to be able to win an award with that, with that name on it and just the kind of man he was, uh, it's, it's, I'm very humbled and, and very blessed. So. You majored in enterprise yes, sir. Yeah, it, enterprise leadership, it's just a general entrepreneurial degree. It teaches you how to uh, start up and, and run and operate your own small business. And I hope someday to maybe to get into that sector. And I feel like that's something that kind of uh, sparked interest and I enjoyed learning about. So I feel like in, in school, if you can find something you're passionate about, I feel like it's going to take you a long way. So, Do I watch Shark Tank? Yeah. I don't think, I ain't got no, no ideas to go on there, though. Yes, yes sir. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I always, me and Ike have a really good relationship. He's one of those guys that has always been a great mentor to me. Um, he, we grew up, he grew up like right down the street from me, and like I've known him for a long, long time. And um, just all the stories he, he tells from like the Bills. Uh, uh, again, it, it'd be a great organization to go to. Um, all 32 teams would be a great organization to go to. Um, but at the same time, kind of going there, 
if I do go there, uh, just to know, know a uh, face uh, in there. And then AJ, uh, again, just one of the most talented guys that I've ever, one of the most talented pass rushers I've ever played with. Um, and, and you've kind of seen that in the last few years on how his games progress. But um, again, like whatever team I go to, I'm going to be super blessed. But uh, again, like if, if I do end up there, it's, I'm going to see some familiar faces. So. Um, I would say just for me, it's just always finding ways to improve. I feel like the best players and the best business people are always finding ways to improve and are never satisfied in anything they do. So I would say that. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, um, coming from the University of Iowa, it's a huge developmental program, and anyone who's around the program knows that. We get two-star guys from the Iowa cornfields, and then we turn them into like national award winners, uh, year in and year out. Um, so I would just say it kind of it, it definitely starts in the weight room because like they get all these guys that come in at, like like for me like an example is like Brandon Sheriff. I'm pretty sure he played like quarterback and tight end in high school, and then when he left, he's like 320 pounds and that. Outland Award winner, so just like like guys like that. I mean, Sky, you know, like we we bring in these guys in this program, and then how they leave, um, it's it's remarkable. They come in as young men, they leave as like very mature men. So I mean, it, it's it's I'm so proud to be an Iowa Hawkeye. So.